when joining your live lesson, you're going to start at the class that's meeting. Okay, you're going to go to that home page and then click on the calendar icons. Since we're in October, I'm going to click on the October page in the calendar and then go to the appropriate week. Then you'll go to the weeks page and then scroll through to the day. This is the most straightforward way to join the meeting. This way you're not clicking on an old link to that live lesson. When you join the Teams meeting, you want to choose to join in the app. That way you have the full functions of the navigation bar and the chat. If you're prompted to use your credentials to join into the Teams meeting, that just means that you're using your school email and password to join the meeting. When you use your school email, it's your lunch number at stu.gcsnc.com and your password is your birthday. When you join the meeting, you should join with your microphone off. That way, if there are any noises in your background, they don't interrupt the meeting. You can choose to join with your camera on or off. While you're in the meeting, you'll have the full use of the navigation bar and you should have your chat open. That way, you can participate in the class discussion as well as receive information and materials from your teacher.